Um, but Josh, you touched a little bit on the last thing I wanted to talk about here. So we did mention on the live streams this past week with Juju going out, there was a chance there could be more involvement for Pat Fryermuth stepping up as mm-hmm. the the tight end in this offense. And it looks like he took a step forward today. What was it? Seven targets, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Four receptions, um, 44 yeah. yards and a touchdown. What category of tight end does that this put Pat Fryermuth in for? And to qualify, I mean like Locked no, in starter, you. potential starter, bye week fill in. Like, mm-hmm. how do you view Pat Fryer with the rest of the season? He he's a borderline locked and loaded starter. Like he's a borderline top twelve tight end. So that you know, there's these this the tier of like the top five tight ends where it's like T.J. Hawkins and Darren Waller, Mark Andrews, Travis Kelsey, Kyle Pitts kind of deal. Um, and Kittle finds his way up in there when he's healthy. Um, and, and then kind of Pat Fryermuth could fall into this category of these rest of the tight ends. Am I going to start Mike Kosicki over him? Yes. Am I going to start Noah Fant over that? I mean, Noah Fant's where you start to question it, I, I think. Right there, Noah Fant level. Dulce, you know, uh, Hunter Henry level, Zach Ertz level. You could play Pat Fryermuth over any of these guys, I think, because he's a rookie. Um, and he's growing in this offense, and Ben Roethlisberger likes to throw it to him, and he's very talented. Yeah, Dale, how do you feel about Pat uh, I, I don't know if I'd, if I'm starting him over, uh, Fant or what was the other name you threw out there? Hunter I, Henry. I threw exact Hunter Henry, Zach Ertz. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe Hunter Henry, Zach Ertz and, and the right matchup, but his, mm-hmm. his target share is still pretty low. Uh, it has improved the last three games. It's been at 10.1% on the season, 18.9% in the last three games. Uh, so it's going up. So if he can sustain that, I'm a little bit more interested. Uh, but otherwise, uh, I think he's, He's most likely maybe back in tight end one. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. And 18.1%, like you said, if he can sustain, that's he awesome can sustain for a tight it. end. 18.9%. Oh. That's, that's, that's so, yeah. excellent for, for tight ends. Mm-hmm. I, I think that would put him in the top five of tight ends, if I'm not mistaken. I can, I can uh-huh. double check that. If that stays consistent for another two, three weeks, I think then you really have to bump him up a tier. That, then he bumps into that you're starting him every week kind of guy with that kind of target share.